<clears throat> okay. Focus, focus. We'll do a little video response here to this because it was very timely and much appreciated uh, <laughs> with uh, the energies I was feeling right now. This helped me to feel not so alone even though that's kind of just always been with me, the void. So we will look at this pretty face here. Even though I, <laughs> I bet she did not want me to have my focus be on this, but it is a pretty face and I do appreciate you for all that you are. So check out this channel, I am Frog in a Box. It's a very uh, unique person and a genuine person. Okay, so I'll start off, uh, she was talking about time displacement, and I'm going to have to agree, I've been experiencing the same things lately, but for me, it, this has been a life lifetime kind of thing with the time displacement, so I guess I've gotten accustomed to it. I have noticed that time has been pretty wonky as of lately, like, and once again, like, it's always wonky for, for me and for certain individuals who kind of play around with time a little bit in our perceptions of time. But that it, even so, time has been increasingly becoming more and more, what's the word, just very wonky and slippery, I guess you could say. So there's been more occurrences, more frequent occurrences of time speeding up and also time slowing down, or the perception of, of such. And also, I, I made a video kind of talking a little bit about the moon, whenever it was the full moon. Don't know if I will put that one up. because of some of the things involved with that video. I'm the kind of person that, unless I match the things that I'm presenting, like energetically, um, then if, if that's not the case, then I don't want to present that to people and It needs to feel authentic for me in order to share that with others. Otherwise, there's something not quite right there, and there's more introspective work that needs to be done to understand why I'm feeling those things. So yeah, with the moon, I'll kind of repeat what I said in that one video. And what I've commented on other people's videos about the moon, like uh, Awake and Brave, I commented <laughs> a couple times because I was feeling feeling the vibes. But essentially, uh, the build up to the moon, to the full moon, all the nasties came out, and for whatever reason. Uh, I was like a magnet to them. You 
yeah, just even reliving this or rethinking about it. It's not, it's not something I would even want to think about or relive because of uh, the ridiculousness of it. It was fucking ridiculous. It's to the point where like, I, I chose not to talk about it with people because just of how it sounds. Like, oh, okay, you're being over dramatic, or you know, it's it can't be that bad. I don't have anything to prove, so I don't really care if if you want to believe me or not, but it was to the point where I really wish I videotaped my entire time uh, building up to the to the full moon, just because it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's like any, anything that could go wrong did, and, and people couldn't help themselves but could to go out of their way to just get in my way essentially get in my way and stall me and distract me and constantly so whenever the full moon reached uh closer to its peak i noticed that the energies dramatically shifted in that, like, a lightness was felt, and uh, things felt uh, very good and uplifting, and I, I don't want to use a whole bunch of new agey fucking shit here, terminology, but this this is what it felt like, it was, it was amazing to feel, and then during the eclipse, it was like those same energies, I didn't feel any anything different from uh, whenever the eclipse was happening than whenever it reached close to peak uh, fullness on the full moon the the energy shifted for the better and I also almost made a video talking about kind of expanding upon what I felt with these uh, full moon energies because with this uplifting energy okay first off everything flows especially in the time and energetic sphere we find ourselves in right now currently everything is in a sine wave it flows and fluctuates so whenever we experience or have an extreme high we're going to have a low so that we can find that homeostasis and balance and so this is what i felt i'm like oh shit and it really was like a, an inner feeling of even though i i felt really good and happy and just what like a weight was lifted off and not just me like i'm talking about like everyone and i could i could feel this from a lot of people a lot of people So, a because I I have enough experience with these these energies and how they are manipulated, I knew that we were going to be taken under a deep low because this this high was kind of allowed. I guess you could put it kind of like that. It was allowed to reach a certain point where people felt good. And then it was going to plummet back down. And I, I wanted to make a video kind of like <sighs> encouraging people that even if they're feeling like on top of the world right now, realize that life is like a wave and it ebbs and flows, has its highs and lows. So I wanted to, I guess now it's a little too late, but what I did for myself, and, and I sent this out in looking at the moon, the full moon. I sent this energy out of the message. I sent the message out that people, the people who feel very deeply, who are 
more likened to actual humans. Because those are very, very rare nowadays. Actual people. Extremely rare. And we'll go into this a little bit deeper in other videos about uh, my relationship with people and how it's not really people nowadays. All these things running about, you can liken them to people and you have been taught that they are people, but they're kind of like a molested form of what a, a human really is. And yeah, I understand how that's going to come off and whatnot, but that's just as far as I'm going to go into it right now. I shouldn't even said that without going a little bit further and explaining myself. But it is what it is. Anyways, I sent this message out because I knew what was coming. And I knew that even though I was feeling this amazing uh, weightlessness, that I had to ground down to prepare uh, on the inside, to prepare on the inside for what's, what was about to happen. And I would say yesterday, yeah, I, I could feel it, and that uh, the come down. And then today, um, today is a day that would have, I would have had a stronger reaction to if I didn't already ground myself and realize that this was coming. And it was just a feeling. Like I felt like that this was going to happen for a lot of people. So yeah, basically, uh, I was uh, done dirty. Shit on, whatever you want to call it. Uh, people that you thought you were cool with, they, uh, and, and like what Bobby says in this video here, uh, they, people will show their true colors, and that's exactly what happened for me tonight. And it's not even that, it, it's as much as I knew, because I felt what was going on inside within certain people, so it wasn't, wasn't a surprise for these actions to occur, it was just a extreme disappointment that they allowed those things to happen. Because of ignorance, because of a lack of awareness. Uh, yeah, that's essentially what it is. And that, that's something that's kind of has happened more and more vividly for me, uh, lucidly, is that I'm able to very, in a very attuned way, sift through the bullshit and feel people's real intentions. So, I mean, that that's my gauge right there. Like, I don't care what people have to say, because most of the time... They're, they're not really saying anything of uh, importance or really, like, substance. It's just surface-level uh, jargon. So, yeah. Uh, I definitely... I'm feeling the same thing that a lot of people are feeling right now, and that things are just fucking weird, and time is fucked up, and people are fucked up, and having people act out on you for no fucking reason, or just do really fucked up shit to you. But, uh, yeah, how I handled it, I'll just kind of go into that, is... I handled it with clarity. I, I, I got clear on it before I was... I allowed myself to get uh, triggered or... Not even that, 
to, to be in a reactionary state. It's like, well, before I do this, I'm going to recap here uh, my part in it, essentially. What, how much control I really had of this situation. And that, ultimately, I had to come to the realization that I allowed this situation to happen. So, if I was going to get upset or anything, it, that's that's useless. Like, don't get upset. <laughs> like I said in my last video, don't bitch. Get clear. That's that's what I did here. And I mean, even though I did this and I was able to not go as low as I would have normally, uh, you know, it still fucking hurt. It always hurts getting wronged or getting done dirty by people. But it's up to us how much we're going to hold on to that or how much we're going to see it for what it is and then let go of it. Like, okay, now I know for sure the kind of people I'm dealing with. No reason to hold on to anything. But then also you get into, you know, your past traumas and then certain things uh, triggering and reminding you of these deeper wounds that you are kind of still trying to heal and realize why they're there, how they got there, how to go about healing them. And this is also how uh, certain energies will p fuck around with us. They, they know our traumas and our wounds, our open wounds, and so they will encourage certain engagements to happen, certain pathways for us to follow down in order for us to relive certain traumas and continuously become traumatized and sink back in. Numb ourselves again. Find ways to escape the pain instead of realizing why we are where we are, how we got here. You have to start asking the important questions, seeking answers for the questions that really matter, and letting go of all the other bullshit, dedicating ourselves to truth and wisdom and love, yes, but ultimately why things are the way they are right now. How come love and the concept and the energies involved, how come there's so much corruption nowadays? How do we get here? So yeah, like how how she ended this was like in the foam of the sea, like you will see the true colors, people's true colors, and that's that's exactly what's happening for me right now. And it's not even necessarily seeing people's true colors, because I've always felt it. I've always felt it was there. So whenever they act upon uh, certain darker energies within them, it's always... Uh, just very disappointing, like for me. I, I, whenever that happens around me, I always kind of feel like a parent that's just very disappointed that uh, they would allow that to happen within themselves. So beyond people's true colors, realize that the tendencies, everyone has a tendency and they're more prone towards certain tendencies depending upon where they're at and their development and their path, whatever you want to call it. How much inner work they've actually done 
as opposed to how much deflection they've done from that inner work, how much they are running away from themselves. Those kind of people are going to be more prone to uh, being like reactionary uh, drama mamas, being triggered and offended. And if you recognize someone like that or see them or sense them, then, I mean, you should know what to expect. And that's why after going through what I went through tonight, like, it wasn't a surprise to me. Like, it's, it was just very disappointing. Uh, I, I, I could say almost out of character because these people knew me. And I thought we were cool. But just, I guess it was a perfect storm scenario to where they uh, were not cognizant enough to understand the surroundings and what was going on. It always comes back down to the same thing. It always comes back down to how willing are you how willing are you to dive deep inside? How deep are you willing to dive? Are you willing to face death? Are you willing to understand what that word means? Are you willing to transcend it? Are you willing to transcend your belief structures that have been given to you, that you have adopted, that you protect some... some and of course, it's going to be dependent upon various people and the level of programming and indoctrination. But how attached are you to your belief structures? Are you certain? Are you absolutely certain that is truth? Or, or could you just be appearing in an aspect of truth? touching the tip of the iceberg. Are you willing to admit that? That maybe you don't have all the answers. That maybe you don't need all the answers. Maybe you just need one specific answer. And that will lead you to another specific path and answer and question. And so it continues on and on until you realize that the question, within the question lies the answer. And it is always an Ouroboros. You have everything you've ever needed within. Don't take my word for anything. Experience this. Experience what it means to be a human being. Rewild yourself. Get clear. Seek the things that speak to your heart. Realize what you are engaging. Are you just engaging an ecstatic, blissed out state? Where you're not grounded at all? Where that's going to be a very passing and fleeting thing? Or are you able to ground that down and experience that at will? Are you able to tap into your inner well, your deep inner reserves of truth and knowingness? Are you able to call this forth and have it burn through all illusions and lies? Are you able to remind yourself of what it really means to be 
alive, just to be, to be a human, a hue man, a man or woman of many hues, many perspectives, many perceptions, but are you in control of those things or are you being played with? Are those things running amok inside of you because you have yet to control your inner dragon, your inner willpower, your inner genie, your inner demon, your inner angel? Have you, you, have you united all of those things inside of yourself? Tap into the love, tap into the real. Ignite your inner flame. Realize just how strong you really are. 